Have you ever been in love? If so, this video is for you. Today we are showing you how to talk about your good relationships and also about your bad relationships very accurately with 42 expressions to talk about love, dating and relationships in English. Let's get started. Now, you might need a pen and paper because we're going to take it step by step. The first step is always, how did you meet? This one is super easy. I met a girl at work. I met a girl at a party. Maybe online or on a dating app like Tinder, for example. You could also say, I met a girl on a blind date. A blind date is a date with a stranger organized by another person. Now, let's go to step two. What happened then? Maybe you can say, we got along. This is an important expression. It means we had a friendly relationship. You could also say, we had many things in common. We like the same food. We like the same movies. We hit it off. Now, maybe you've heard this before. We hit it off is an idiom. It means we were a good match for each other. We hit it off. It was love at first sight. The first time we saw each other, we fell in love. So only one look and we were in love. I knew she was the one. Oh, this one is very sweet. I knew that she was the perfect match for me. Okay? So remember, step one, how did you meet? I met a girl at work. And then choose another expression here. Choose one that matches your relationship. We hit it off. Great. Now, step three. Who made the first move? What is the first move? It means who made the first action? Who performed the first action to ask to go on a date? So you could say, I asked her out or she asked me out. That's also good depending on who made the first move. For example, do you want to go for coffee with me? That is the first move. I gave her my number. My number, of course, is my phone number. You could say we exchanged contact information. We exchanged it. So I gave her my number, she gave me her number, or she gave me her Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and so on. Now, pick your expression right here. Ready? Step four. Then, what happened next? I took her out for dinner. Take someone out means to go for dinner or go somewhere and pay. So I took her out for dinner or maybe she took me out for dinner is also good. We got together for coffee. Of course, get together, you probably can guess. We met and we had coffee. Simple. We went on a few dates. So we did stuff together. We went to the movies. Maybe we had a picnic. We went ice skating. A few dates. We fell in love. So romantic. We began to have a ro romantic feelings for each other. What about now? Now this is the happy ending part. What's happening now in your relationship? Maybe you can say, we're still dating. So we are still a couple. That's what it means. You could say, we've been together for two years. So we have been a couple for two years. We've been together. And also, you can add another comment. You could say, super sweet, she's a keeper. She's a keeper means she is worth keeping in my life. I want to keep her in my life. You could also say, she's the one. She's the one. She's the perfect match for me. Great. Now, many people have future plans. So what is the next step in your relationship? We're thinking about moving in together. 
So maybe we want to live together. We're thinking about moving in together. I'm going to propose next week. Oh, you know what propose means. It means, will you marry me? That's proposing. We just got engaged. An engagement is a formal agreement to get married. So we got engaged. You gave her a ring, an engagement ring. So that's a formal agreement to get married. We're getting married in June. Our wedding is in June. And maybe we want to start a family. We want to have a baby together. Okay, now we have seen the six steps together. Now it's time to put it all together. You ready? So we start with number one. I met a girl where? And then you say what happened next? And then the following step is who made the first move? Finally, I took her out for dinner. And what's happening now? And what are the future plans? So if you put it all together, you can describe your good relationship. I met a girl at a party. We hit it off. I asked her out. We got together for coffee. We're still dating. She's a keeper. I, we are thinking about moving in together. Excellent. So that is how to talk about a good relationship. But <laughs> there are not only good relationships. Sometimes there are bad relationships too. So we are going to talk about bad relationships. But for bad relationships, we're going to remove the two final steps. So you can keep the other steps, but the last ones are out because you're not dating anymore. Why did you break up? You can give two reasons. You can give a general reason or you can give a specific reason. Now, a general reason, you could say we grew apart. We changed in opposite ways. That's a very nice way to say that oh, we both changed and things were not so good anymore. We wanted different things in life. We had different future plans or we had different ideas about the future. We fell out of love. You remember we fell in love, but this one is we fell out of love. Our love died. Oh, so sad. Things went south. Okay, this is a good expression. It means our relationship deteriorated. Our relationship went bad. You can also be more specific. You can say we had an argument or we had a fight. We had a disagreement. She cheated on me. Oh, this one is very bad. She had sex with another man. She cheated on me. She lied about her past, for example, or she lied about her family. Mm -hmm. She didn't tell the truth. She scammed me. Oh, scamming someone means that you steal money from them. She drank too much. That's possible, right? Or maybe she smoked too much. So you can give a general reason or a specific reason for the breakup. Choose one. Now, what happened next? So, I broke up with her. Or so, she broke up with me. Who ended the relationship? You could also say, I dumped her or she dumped me. But this one is a slang expression, so use it only with friends. We decided to end it. Oh, very nice expression. It means we decided to end our relationship. Or we decided to call it quits. This one is also a little bit of a slang expression, but it all means the same, to end the relationship. You can also add something. You can say, it was a clean break. So there were no problems during the breakup. Not too much crying, no fights, nothing like that. It's time to break up. Okay, okay, bye. It was a clean break. But sometimes it's not a clean break. So you can say, 
it was a messy breakup. There are many problems, many fights, many cry, a lot of crying, and it was hell. It was a messy breakup. What about now? What's happening between you two? We're just friends. We are not dating anymore, but we are still friends. We keep in touch. We are still in contact. Maybe uh, we're still in t uh, we keep in touch on Facebook, for example, or something like that. We still see each other from time to time. Sometimes we meet. That's good. We're friends with benefits. Okay, now watch out for FWB. That is a very dangerous expression. It means we are sex friends. We are friends who sleep together. Okay, we are friends with benefits. We're dating on and off. To date on and off is we're not in a serious relationship. Sometimes we date, sometimes we don't date. It's not serious. And maybe you can say, I never want to see her again. This is very serious. Okay, now let's put it all together. Now you remember the first four steps. That's all good. But today, for bad relationships, we need to add the reason and then who broke up with whom. And finally, it was a clean breakup, a messy breakup, and what's happening now. So all together, you can put your story together. I met a girl at work. Uh, we got along. She, I gave her my number and we got together for coffee. But... We grew apart, so I broke up with her. It was a clean break. We are just friends now. Excellent. So this is how to talk about a bad relationship. Now, tell me about your past or your current relationship in the comments section. I really want to know. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.